I'm Seth Woodland. I am the creator and designer of the Woodland Badger. Some of the rocks we pull up, we drag to the edge of the field, we pick them up later. What we want to demonstrate here is how good the badger works. In this soil here, the wind blows really easy, so the clods on top are actually a good thing so the wind doesn't blow. But if that's an issue in your, in your soil, we can definitely put a different harrow behind that and finish those off. But what this was, it was beet ground harvested, we did nothing to it. We came in, we fertilized it, and then we ran the badger through it. And with a structure like that, with that machine, with the chisel, chisel shanks, we're able to get a good penetration, good tillage, and the right structure, and leaves your soil ready, ready for, a, and it's a perfect seed bed, so ready to plant and ready to go in one pass. I can build a better machine that's not gonna come apart when we pull it out into our farm. And so that's why I created the Woodland Badger. That's why I am confident to say it is the best tills machine out there. And we are going to explain why it is. What we have here is a machine that has a roller harrow, chisel plow, and rock picker in one machine. And we're gonna, and I'm gonna explain each one. First, we're gonna start off with the rollers. What we have is a standard Schmeiser roller with an adjustable depth control on the roller. Each corner of the machine has the same depth control. What we do is we pull that bolt out, loosen that bolt with the hydraulics of the machine, lift it or shallow it wherever you want for the, for the depth that you desire, and then you put it back in. We can go from uh, 10 inches depth up to where you can pull the shank out, which makes it easy to change the depths, which allows the farmer to put it exactly where he wants it. The next part of the machine is the, the chisel shanks. What I use is a Flexicoil 650 foot-pound trip, and I use those because they're reliable and, you, and they're off-the-shelf parts. You can get them about anywhere. What we also do is we weld a chain to the point, and we just use a simple nut to hold that that uh, point on there in case you it, the bolts break and then it's a simple two bolts and you're back and going. So in my opinion, that's one of the better parts of this machine. What we have with the, the last part of the machine is my favorite. It's a level bar system with and a rock picker. And let me explain how it works. We have a front level bar, the rock catcher, and a second level bar. And then how this works, is the front level bar sits on a spring system. So instead of having a traditional ram to control the depth of the level bar, what we have here is a spring-loaded system so that there's no guessing if the level bar is at the correct depth. As you adjust the level, the spring by the chain tension, we're able to get a good flat cut with the level bar without going too much or not enough. And the front level bar, as a machine goes down, what will happen is it'll hinge, swing back into position right in front of the, the level bar, still leveling the ground. And as the rocks are go over the top of the level bar, we're able to catch the rocks, flatten the soil, and able to get it ready for a, get a good seed bed. So off the front level bar, as this swings back with the adjustment right, we have the rock catcher, which makes it, as we can adjust this to the depth between the front and the rock catcher, we can catch rocks on top of those with the laws of physics as the rocks roll over the top of that bar and they sit up against this, the, the, the rock catcher. The, and the, the, the back level bar 
as it goes over, sometimes we need a little bit more dirt to fill in holes. We are able to do that with the, with the back level bar. What that allows is that I can level the ground, pick the rock, get it perfectly level before my last roller goes over it. We had equipment that could not handle our soil. It would break, it would uh, break, and it would break. And so I told myself there had to be a better way that a machine can handle the rocks, handle the dirt, and do it in one pass so that we can cut our operations and be able to still keep the profitability. One of the things that I found worked that most farmers do as a uh, traditional always works program is they come in with a chisel plow. A chisel plow is simple. You can get the parts wherever and it works. The one problem with a chisel plow that they do have though is they can never keep them completely level. Most farmers that I know use a roller harrow. The rollers on, on front and back to finish up that ground so it looks great. Well, I came up with the idea, why not put those two together and get rid of the complete S time? What was involved was that I went and I picked what I considered the very best of the best and I put it together. The other thing I came up with was the level bar system that catches the rocks and levels the ground. First off, it has two level bars. Most machines only have one and uh, one usually isn't enough in our soil. They also put it on a hydraulic system. Humans are not fast enough to keep it perfect, but a spring that always has a tension on, on the ground is correct. The other thing we have is that rock catcher. As that rock goes over the top of that level bar, I'm able to catch that rock and get it out of the field. The Woodland Badger is the simplest tillage equipment on the market. We designed it so that after the adjustments are made, which are very simple, anybody can operate it. When you can make a perfect seat bed in one pass, your profitability goes up because you're gonna get better emergence right off the bat. We've seen it on our farm where we went from 100 bushel an acre grain to 130 bushel an acre grain by doing nothing else, just because we can get a better seed bed with the Woodland Badger where you're, you're you're going in, you're roller harrowing it, you're chisel plowing it, and a chisel plow, in my opinion, is the, one of the very greatest farm tools there is, is you get the, the right depth, and we get it adjusted to the right depth, we can come in and make a perfect seed bed in one pass and get it ready for, for the, a good emergence because of a good seed bed. What the Badger does, is as it's able to withstand the rocks. And, it, and again, it will not pick every rock out of the field. That's impossible. But it'll, it will can withstand all the abuse that it goes through. And the rocks that it does pick, we pick them to the edge. And that's why every farmer should own one. The Woodland Badger is built by a farmer, built for farmers to keep your legacy alive.